Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new SPC McKenny card that released today, which is a very interesting concept of a card, right? We're looking at someone that is six foot one with medium, medium work rates, three star, three star. So right off the bat, the only position I could see myself using this card in is the right center mid position or the right center defensive mid position. That height with medium, medium work rates and good defensive capabilities is going to be a huge plus for this card, right? If we look at his specific stats, we're looking at a card that has 78 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. In my opinion, for the midfield area, right off the bat, I'm already thinking about giving this card a shadow, right? That's the main thing, but we put an engine on him and I'll explain why afterwards, okay? Plus five, plus five for the engine, just for now. Shooting stats. For a CDM, he's got some pretty solid shooting stats. 90 shot power, 72 finishing is very helpful to have in the general sense. With the engine chemistry style, we're giving him improved dribbling stats because I want to see if the pace that he has is good enough and I want to see if his defense is good enough. His physical is already good enough. You don't have to do anything about that. But I want to see if defensively he's already good enough where I can improve his dribbling so that he's responsive and has great passing to build up the play and come back and defend really well, right? I still am thinking about the shadow, but I need to see if the engine makes sense in game because I want to see if I do want to stop the shadow. It's better to try out the lower end card first to see if it's good enough and if it's not then you know right away that you need the shadow card right so we're improving his dribbling with the engine chemistry style defending stats are already kind of there because you know 84 is 83 is 85 is that general area for defense sometimes it's still not there right sometimes it really depends on the card it may be there for him because he's a six foot one player right Probably going to have a decent stock in game two. I don't, I've never seen McKenny stock in game, so I need to see what it's like. Um, but those defensive stats do look very interesting, right? Uh, physical, just a monster. An absolute beast for physical. So this card does look like a very good card. I would, from predetermined stats... He looks like he's going to be a baby meta card, right? It looks like. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to let you guys know by the end of the video if he is usable concept, baby meta, meta, or full meta. I don't, I don't think he's going to be full meta, obviously. But um, he definitely looks like a baby meta card. So I do want to try him out to see how good he's going to be in-game. Again, slapping the engine right away because I want to see what he plays like dribbling-wise. Increased passing and decent enough pace. He's, we're going to be using a Bundesliga team. This guy only uses the Bundesliga team. I love when people use teams like this. You guys know that I've already done a review uh, with this team for another player. I forgot exactly who it was. I don't even see him on the bench anymore, but uh, it was someone here before. Um, oh, Timo Warner. That's what we did the review for. Um, it's a very nice team, man. Timo Warner's card is really fun to use. I think the team in general is very, very well balanced. So uh, a very, very fun concept of a team. So in regards to the custom tactics, we are going to be using the 4-2-3-1 as we normally do. And we are going to be using McKenney on stay back while attacking cover center. We're gonna probably play like two or three different games to see his general feel on stay back while attacking cover center. And also on balance because we wanna see what his tracking is like coming back with the medium work rates just in case he does attack even if he's on stay back while attacking. Because people need to understand that when you have stay back while attacking for a CDM, medium attacking work rates doesn't mean he's never going to attack. In my Tonali review, he still attacked uh, when he had the opportunity to. I don't ever want them to not attack, right? I want them to attack when when they can, right? Stay back while attacking is just the general balance that I want, right? So McKenney on stay back while attacking cover center as well as Thomas Delaney. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're going to go ahead and try this out in-game. Hopefully, it's really good, and hopefully, he's a sick card because he look he looks great. I like cards like this because Alfonso Davies was a little bit disappointing for me, a little bit, but I do think that McKenney, uh is going to be a little better, but Alfonso Davies is Canadian, so I just throw the... Uh, the concept usable, the the usable concept card for me, sentimental value wise, having a Canadian player in the team, I love it already, right? So, um, yeah, let's go into a game and see how he plays. All right, so let's see his dribbling like with the engine. Yeah, so you'll notice right away that if you put a shadow card on him, his dribbling is going to be a little heavier. So having the engine card so far on him is uh, is pretty nice. Um, let's see what his physical is like here. I should have uh, I should have double tapped the tackle there for the interception, like that, right? Nice. Good little tackle right there. I like possession-based tackles. I hate when they push the ball away from them. Good positioning by him to receive possession of the ball. So it's it's so far him and Delaney together working out really nicely. I want to see what their transition is like on stay back while attacking with medium-medium and medium-high. 
Delaney. And it's with McKenney. Delaney. Western McKenney. His positioning for stay back while attacking is pretty decent. I have no complaints about it. Yeah, typical interception there with uh, McKenney. He's positioned. He's positioned okay with the uh, medium high work rate player. It's always like this with medium high, medium high, medium medium type players. Uh, their work rates are gonna make one a little bit more aggressive than the other. Uh, medium medium definitely likes to push out a little bit more. But I like his positioning um, when I'm transitioning on the attack. So I have no complaints about that specifically. Yeah, so so far on stay back while attacking, I like him. I think he's, I think he has a very good balance on the team so far, or he's a, he has a good balance, uh, generally speaking, on and off the ball. Um, yeah, we're just not scoring because we're just playing regular FIFA, and you know he's he's okay in the team. I like his uh, his physical presence in game. I do think he requires the engine chemistry style. I don't know if I put a shadow card on him because defensively he's already quite solid. Um, but I do, I do notice that if he didn't have the engine chemistry style, his dribbling would be significantly worse because of his, uh, because of his like stock in game. Like being able to do those little quick touches like that, I might not be able to do if I don't have the engine chemistry style on him. Nice. Beautiful. Good goal, man. Great goal there. Yeah, his positioning so far on stay back while attacking, um, I'm liking it a lot. I have, uh, you know, he's, he's a very good card. I love I love concept cards that are not really concept cards. Like, he just, he feels like a baby meta card with the engine. Like, it's it's really fun to use him. Okay, guys, so stay back while attacking it was good with him. To be honest with you, the engine chemistry style, it seemed like enough. I, it's going to be interesting to, check, to test the engine chemistry style when I don't have him on stay back while attacking because... He doesn't have the shadow chemistry style to have the, the plus 15 acceleration, the plus 10 in sprint speed to be able to track back quickly. So I want to see what it's like with engine on him on balance instructions. Nice. Nice little height right there for that interception. Oh, tracking there. Very nice. On balance instructions too. Yeah, that was man mark defending with him there. I like that because it actually pushes him onto the edge of the 18 yard box. So it's better defensively when you're uh, when you switch to those guys. Again, offering himself in good positions for the passing lanes on stay back while well, are on balance instructions. Uh, he's not aggressively pushing up if he doesn't have to so far. So it's it's working out pretty nicely. You can see he's a little bit more aggressive uh, when he's on the bounce though. I like his physical presence with the dribbling too, man. It's it's nice with the engine chemistry style for sure. Because increased increased balanced is uh is just really nice to have in general. So you see this sprint speeds? That's that's where where the problem lies for me a little bit, right? Defensively. I like to have that plus 15 on, acce uh, on acceleration and sprint speed. So, so far, you know, obviously dribbling wise with the engine chemistry style is a nice thing to have, but it's like a very similar situation to me using William Carvalho. Like William Carvalho has really poor agility and balance, but do I like the shadow chemistry style on him because, you know, he's a better player defensively because of it? Absolutely. I think it's a very, very relevant thing to give your CDMs if you want him to be a good um, defensive presence. Almost got that one. Doesn't have an urgency to push back with medium work rates for sure, but defensively he's very, very nice. I, I think I think that he already has good defensive and physical capabilities. I think the problem with the card is having that uh, sprint speed and acceleration to be able to track back quickly, especially with those medium, medium work rates, right? See, that's the thing though, man. Like being able to do those quick dribbles with him is just such a huge thing. It's just this acceleration sprint speed. Like right there, if I had acceleration sprint speed, I may be able to intercept that quicker, right? Especially with his height. Yeah, I would definitely sacrifice the uh, better dribbling and passing on the card for the uh, for the defensive capability. Not defensive capabilities, but like he, it's a, it's a combination of two different things. Like you're improving his defense even more, but that acceleration and sprint speed to transition quickly into certain spaces to defend, I just think is very, very important.
All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be honest with you. I like the card. It's really, really good. Um, I will say this, though, okay? It's kind of a similar situ a situation to William Carvalho, right? But the difference between this card and William Carvalho is that his dribbling is better than William Carvalho's dribbling, right? But I use William Carvalho, and William Carvalho is very usable for me. However, when it comes to these cards, right? You have to give them the shadow chemistry style. You just have to. I, I genuinely believe there's no other option, okay? If you guys give this card a shadow chemistry style, he's going to be a very, very solid CDM for you. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. You could use him in a center mid position. 4 one 2 and 2 4 3 one 2 in a right center mid position, center center mid position with an engine chemistry style. Make him super responsive, all that good stuff, right? But for me personally, if I were to get the card, which is a very fun concept-oriented card... Um, with the shadow chemistry style on stay back while attacking with medium, medium work rates, right? Very good height in game, six foot one, a good stock in game, increased interception stats to a plus 10, uh, having all of his stats to be minimum mid tier and high tier nineties defensively with good pace, insane physical capabilities, good passing for a CDM. You're looking at a really good card with a shadow chemistry style specifically. Stay back while attacking, cover center for that CDM position. Him next to Delaney, they moved around really nicely. He has like this uh, natural instinct to him of tracking people, which is great because if he tracks people, he stays on the edge of that 18 yard box. So when you switch to him, he's already in the general area to be able to defend with, right? And then Thomas Delaney's headliners card, by the way, is absolutely fantastic. But in regards to McKenney's card, guys, I do think he's a very good CDM, specifically with the shadow chemistry style, stay back while attacking, cover center for the CDM. I think he's going to do a very good job for you guys over there. The height, the height, stock, and having the extra pace with the card is going to be a hugely, hugely beneficial thing to have on the card. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. This was a good SBC that released today. Alfonso Davies, you know what? I still love the card. You know, it's, it's one of those, like, I was disappointed a little bit in regards to certain stats. But I still love him. He's still very usable. He was doing work for me in the game. The four-star weak foot helps, four-star skill moves, all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, I do think that the McKenny, uh, the McKenny card today was uh, very good. My dude, the guy that let me use his account, put a shadow card on him, bro. Stay back while attacking cover center in that right center defensive position. He's going to play beautifully for you there. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.